Hello Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. And if you're not aware by now, I'll be starting my second channel coming this summer. Stay tuned for that. This Instagram DIY request, I was asked to recreate these ceramic tufted lamps into fabric tufted lamps. And I'll be creating two, so let's see what I come up with. For the first lamp, I'll start off with using three one-pound plastic containers. I also clean them out and remove the labels. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Next, I started adding glue around the edges and started stacking all three together. I'll have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms linked below. Next, I need to cover all these open spaces, so I'll be using craft sticks and I'll be cutting them to size and gluing them all in the empty spaces. By filling in the empty spaces will make it easier when it's time to start working on my tufting. You may also use cardboard or a hard plastic sheet. Once I was done, I'll be covering it with a half inch project foam and I'll be taking my measurements and cutting it to size and I'll be using hot glue to hold it in place. I wanted deeper tufts, so I added one more layer of the half inch foam, making it one inch thick. Next, I'll be placing markings for my tufting three inches apart. My markings in between will also be three inches apart. Next, I'll take my scissors and start carving out all the holes where I place my markings. Next, I'll be using this satin gray printed fabric and I'll just fold the ends and place it in between the crease. To hold it in place, I'll be using my staple gun. And for my tufts, I'll feel where the holes are at and staple it in place. And then I'll keep repeating the same steps going around and pulling the fabric as I go. Once I was done, I'll cut off the remaining fabric and fold the ends and glue it in place. And for the bottom, I'll gently pull the fabric, hold it in place with staples, and then I'll repeat the same steps going around. For the top part, I use hot glue to hold it in place.
To cover up the top, I use this six inch round mirror and I remove it from the frame and then I'll add hot glue around the edges and glue it in place. Cover up the edges of the mirror, I glued on this flat metallic beaded trimming. To cover the staples in the tuftins, I'll be using these loose acrylic diamonds and this bending jewelry tool. I use the bending tool to hold the diamonds while I apply the hot glue and then I'll glue them in place. For the second lamp, I'll be using two two-pound square plastic containers. Once I clean them out, I remove the labels. I glue stones inside for weight and balancing, and I also forgot to mention that I repeated the same steps with the first lamp. Once I glued both lids on, I'll be adding a generous amount of hot glue in the center, and then I'll be taking the next container and stacking it on top. I needed to cover the empty spaces in the center, so I took foam board and I cut them into size and then I glued them in place. Later, I realized that I needed a bigger empty hole on top, so I used my solder and iron to cut it out. I also repeated the same steps with applying the foam. Next I'll be making my markings for my tuftins 3 inches apart and this time I'll be adding them in a zigzag position. Next, I'll be applying this metallic silver shield fabric and I'll be repeating the same application steps as I did on the first lamp with the staple gun and hot glue gun. And to cover up the top, I'll be using this 5x5 square cardboard cutout, and I'll be enforcing it with craft sticks. Once I was done, I applied mirror reflection paper on one side without the craft sticks, and then I also cut out the edges just to have a better fit. I also glued on mini self-adhesive mosaic stickers to cover up the edges. And to cover up the bottom, I took postal board, cut it to size, applied hot glue, and glued it in place. And I also repeated the same steps on the first lamp. Next, I'll be working on the lamp shades, and I'll start off with two 12-inch embroidery hoops. On one of the hoops, I'll be using my wire cutter to cut out the metal clip and then I'll glue it back together using hot glue. We're using a 5 inch round styrofoam and I'll take it and I'll place it in the center of the Brody hoop. And then I'll take skewers and I'll cut them to 4 inches and I'll be cutting 4. Next, I took all four skewers and I started sticking them on the side of the styrofoam in a horizontal and vertical position and I added hot glue to hold them in place. Once I was done, I took them both to a well-ventilated area and I spray painted one coat of white. 
Next, I took an 8 by 20 poster board and covered it with mirror reflection paper. I used this masking tape roll to elevate the base and then I took the poster board and wrapped it around and glued it in place. I also took two cardboard tubes and covered them with mirror reflection paper and this will be to hold the lampshade. And for the second lampshade, I used white and gray printed contact paper and I repeated the same steps applying it on the postal board and gluing it together. For lighting, I used two LED remote touch lights. And here is the finished looks. I really do love the way both lamps turned out and what I love the most is the shimmering and glam that it brings and also is giving me a Victorian vibe. This style of lamps would be perfect in a bedroom with a tufted headboard. I have searched the web including Pinterest and I have not come across any tufted lamps. If you came across any, please leave a comment below or a link so I may view them. And let's not forget the beautiful lighting that will bring into that special bedroom or room in your home. If you love tufted furniture, then these are the perfect lamps for you. Thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this diy as much as i enjoy making it now don't forget i post new diy videos every week like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't comment if you wish turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos i'll see you on my next diy upload